Okay, hello. Uh, this is Light, uh, and uh, I'm going to show you the new face style UI upgrade uh, that we initiated, and it, this uh, development is uh, funded by us, uh, the BNPR team, and we are trying to get face style up, uh, UI up to that so that it is easier to teach, easier to understand, and uh, more people will start using freestyle because it's uh, really awesome so if you use freestyle previously the to activate freestyle you go to the render properties here and then you try to click freestyle but it's not longer here because it's not logical to be in the render properties it is more logical in the view layer uh, properties in this view layer, in the view layer, you click this uh, render freestyle check mark here. So you are activating freestyle for this uh, uh, view layer. And then you have all these panels here. I see the uh, what they are. So this is your uh, line, I'll say that, uh, view map uh, setting for your whole view map then you have your line selection which is a line set uh, freestyle line set you have the selection by image folder visibility h type mark and collection then the next part is you will have the line style this is where you name your line style this is where you put your stroke geometry color alpha thickness and texture with this, it is easier to, for you to, let's say, we are working at on the uh, on the geometry, and then it's easier for you to see the stroke at the same time, so you can see more information and uh, work uh, more seamlessly here. And then uh, that is uh, the rough part of the UI change and let's go to this uh, mesh and why it is it is looking so weird so to do line detection see if I type uh, for this open mesh you will detect the border if you get with this this border will detect open mesh here and here there, here these lines uh, will the line will appear in these places and then for crease is uh, by the angle of the faces for like here this and this uh, faces between the faces between this and this the angle is 90 degrees and so in the freestyle here uh, freestyle panel uh, you the angle is controlled by this the de detection is controlled by this by the crease angle uh, 134 degrees means anything lower than 134 degrees will have lines drawn on it uh, so we have 90 here so 90 is smaller than 134 so the line will be drawn if you have this uh, crease selector and for silhouette, silhouette is very explanatory. It's like it's like uh, anything that has depth to it, you we will draw lines. For example, like this, anything that has depth, and it will also draw around this object. And then the silhouette for edge mark is here. You mark the edges. You will turn green, you go to your edge menu, you select mark freestyle edge here. Okay, for example, let's do this on this one and mark freestyle edge. You will get the line drawn here. And then contour is uh, the outer shape, the outer silhouette of, shouldn't use silhouette, the outer shape of the object will get uh, for individual object for external contour it is uh, the combination of at the 
uh, the object. Let's say you have uh, two of these, and then that uh, it will not draw the line inside. It will draw as a group of object. Uh, the external line of the group of the object. And then material boundary is uh, like the the differences uh, like for example uh, what I'm highlighting right now is uh, material A and here is material B so there will be a line here if you use uh, material boundary so between the two material we will have a line for subjective control and uh, rich and very these two are very hard to use and uh, not commonly used so I will will not uh, show you what it is so that is pretty much uh, the, the mesh but before that we have to go to here to show you another feature of freestyle for the line selection from here let's, let's close this Mm, for here we have the face mark right for face mark you do it using face selection here you go you select the mesh control F go to mark freestyle face it unselect it it will turn green it will not be as green as this if you are using the default theme but mine is uh, it is still green but not as bright as it is this one uh, when you do it as uh, so use face mark you normally you use it in the exclusive uh, mode exclusive mode means uh, for example you don't want the part, that part of the mesh drawn uh, to have any line drawn on it you use exclusive for condition one face and both faces this is a bit hard to explain so I wouldn't be explaining it here because the, using this will be quite quite advanced and then that is that is this mesh explanation so let's get back to the uh, setting here uh, view uh, view map page this is we, when we want we have a big scene then we don't want to recalculate the, the view map all the time so this will save our time if we are doing a fast test render to do this we don't need that right now because this scene is very small uh, render freestyle as uh, the render pass here this this will make uh, add a compositor pass in the uh, output of the compositor the uh, freestyle pass in the compositor here we don't need it now culling means uh, anything outside of this camera view will not get rendered so ignore out of view object face smoothness is used when you have uh, broken lines uh, on your mesh this will grow ex you know, more have a more fine calculation to on a rounder objects or, or subdivided object faces. Advanced option, these are for advanced user. If you know how freestyle silhouette uh, algorithm is uh, calculated, you will use this. If you don't know how it works, uh, this is better let's let's just ignore it now because it's really advanced and i know the math is a uh, quite quite advanced uh, uh, view calculation and here i will explain it to you partly you have the visibility selection by visibility your 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 line set this is line set is pretty much line section where you want to draw your line on a mesh on the face or not on the face or on the line detection whether it's visible or not visible or uh, another way to put it is uh, if you want the line to be available or not available so for visibility visible will only will be rendered for hidden only hidden line will be rendered anything visible like uh in this hole will not get rendered so any all hidden lines will be uh, uh, rendered so quantitative visibility means uh how many faces behind that mesh 
uh, it will get rendered. So right now you have start from zero means this face will get rendered. Uh, the end one hundred the even the hidden one hundred layer behind uh, faces will get rendered. We, this is this these numbers are a bit crazy. Normally we only put maybe two, maybe three here. But we don't use this as often. This is only useful for engineering and kind of uh, rendering. For right now, for simply city, let's use visible. So uh, edge type we have negation and uh, this is if you have this selection, this line selection, you will include it as a, in the render. When you put exclusive, you don't want it get uh, this selected edges to be rendered uh, most of the time we use inclus uh, inclusive for combination this okay let's explain like this silhouette and freeze so logical or means when silhouette detects it and uh, or crease will detect the line both of them will draw the line for logical and both silhouette and crease must find the same line for it to get drawn so this uh, if you use n you will have a lot less lines uh, if you use all you have a lot more lines uh, face mark already explained it to you roughly just now uh, let's see if we can see what's rendering right now okay I just I played with this just now so exclusive here this uh, when you exclude it so it wouldn't be get wouldn't get wrong in this region okay and if you want a collection to have a certain line then you use this collection so we only have one collection so everything will draw this uh, using this line set if you don't want the object uh, the group of objects, the collection of objects to have a certain line or not have a certain line you can use uh, inclusive or exclusive normally you use inclusive means uh, only the object in the collection will uh, get rendered so that is the line selection part for in the line set okay this is the line style this is where we name our lines for example let's start with something simple simple line here we have this this as the name and then let's go to the stroke right directly you will see that we have uh, the line selection the line set as uh, the line set here and then this as the line style so if we were to change this name to my page here it will, it will show here also so this is the line set this is the line style for these caps okay we have good a good view here for this cap using but means uh, it, it just end the line just end for round the line will have a round cap for square it will extend the line with a square so it is longer when you use square okay let's go back to but and for chaining we have flat chaining so it only draw one line uh, if we have the same object, you the uh, the line will change. If it's the same object, if the other ob another object is in front of it, the line will split. So the line will not change to another object. And sketchy means this line it will draw how many times, how many rounds that is uh, stated here. You can do extreme. You can do fill. Uh, this part is uh, a lot used in. Uh, the line geom the line style geometry if you have the the setting compass setting here you will be playing with sketchy here 
for now we use plain okay for here the splitting you can split the line by uh, an angle or a range of angle uh, these are not really used a lot but this will be used a lot the length will be used a lot for example you split it by 20 pixel that means if we have some thickness long stroke that curve then like this we multiply it to here okay. for every 20 pixel for every 20 pixel it will split the chain so so it will block block the break the line every 20 pixels uh there's two things that looks the same here and can get very confusing this is uh, for split pattern this is splitting the line by the pattern let's remove this link uh okay so in split pattern you are doing your dash caps by uh, by splitting the line so this is one line split this is second uh, second line split there's another line split uh, like this for dash line it don't split the line it just cut the line so the line will be uh, the, the chaining is still the same from for example here from here to here this is one chain but it is cut so it is uh, the viewing is cut but the draw uh, the the underlying chain is still intact so that's the difference between uh, split pattern and dash line and then we have line selection here maybe let's start from this uh, this top part let's minimize up Okay, for sorting, we can sort the line by by distance or 2D length distance from camera so you can have lines in front or behind or the longer line in front or the shorter line is in front uh, and then this uh, projected XY is by the X direction of the we sort the line by uh, as for example X direction of the of the image and then this is not used that much until you get very extreme with the oh, you have uh, a lot of uh, with depth or something more technical for stroke selection you can select the minimum length of the line the maximum length of the line and the chain count if it's the chain is more than 10 then it will get drawn if it's less than that uh, everything more than that will not get drawn so this is selection for next we see color and alpha color is self-explanatory you just add a color to the and, uh, this is annoying the color you 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 add a color to the uh add a color to the line but you can also create for example if you want to see how long is the chain if you don't have this kind of uh line thickness you can use it use this to kind of gauge where the chain start where the chain ends using the color using a long stroke uh, modifier it's not nice looking right now so we'll turn this off and we have another modifier for color we have three angles so different different angle we have different color uh, in curvature distance from camera distance from object you can select which object to change the color noise and tangent okay yeah, it's also the same in alpha the modifiers are the same but this is uh, changing the transparency of the line 
but the most interesting part is in this line thickness first of all now I have the base of 10 I can align the align the position of the line in the center of the center of the mesh uh, inside of the mesh outside or relative uh, relative of the pos the actual position of the line and here we have a few more like calligraphy calligraphy and maybe one more actually this one this calligraphy and this part you can do it uh, many ways uh, if you want to use this bed thickness you can use multiply or whatever that is available here if you don't want to use this bed thickness you use mix meaning your minimum value and maximum value will be the 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 value that is uh, the thickness value in the end so if your minimum value is 2 maximum value is 10 here it will use that as the value so if you have thick lines for example here 6 and 10 it looks like this ah this is where you want to use the stroke round to make the line looks nicer and not just cut off like that Mm hmm so this is uh, line thickness uh, you have a lot of ways to use this in combination with the, the the most useful part and the most adventurous part of the line style which is this uh, line style geometry and let's see we by default we have sample of uh, sampling sampling modifier here which is needed for uh, whatever line like uh, geometry modifier below this uh, we have a 10 pixel sample let's say we want to do sinus displacement with 20 length of uh, the for the for the sine wave in uh, 20 pixel if you use put 10 it will become a triangle so every 10 pixel it will sample the sinus displacement if we put it into one the line will become smooth so this sample is quite important and we have quite a lot of uh, things here uh, you might want to check the uh, the uh, the blender manual or our course on the freestyle to actually see what they are doing uh, what these uh, line modifiers because they are quite awesome let's I think that part is done for the geometry texture is actually adding texture as the line this is quite complex and you need to look to the blender manual that we wrote on, on explaining this and you can also use a uh, texture in notes to draw these lines uh, to, to, to get the texture here so mostly we won't be using this part so if you are not interested in putting texture on as your uh, as your line you will not be using it so right now I'm thinking of making something fun with this demonstrate a, a short workflow of uh, freestyle in this uh, new UI okay right now we have my mesh let's name it something else okay we have something else and then we are looking at visible lines and we want border crease so if we for example we only have border right now uh, so only the open mesh will have lines crease will mean every anything 90 degrees will have the lines so pretty much everything 
uh, silhouettes. I don't think uh, I think silhouette will do the same thing as uh, Chris right now because we have a blocky object. But hmm, turning it on is no problem because we are using logical all. Hmm, we have a smart already done, so we don't. Uh, we have. I think we have one button here. Yep, base mark is visible, but it's getting too crowded right now. So let's turn off here and maybe this one. Uh, we don't use collection. We only have one collection. We exclude the lines on the at the bottom. So we end with this, and that is our line selection for the something else line set. And for the line style, we have simple line, which is not simple anymore. We look for. I think we tried this butt line, uh, butt cap. We put it short until we cut split the line with twenty pixel. Let's try a a long stroke for the color. Use a constant like here 0 0.5, and this line should be no, let's try put here something bright and something also bright. Oh, I don't like this part, the, the thing is missing. Okay, we have that kind of line. See? Yep. We have that kind of line. Squiggly squiggly line. And we don't need alpha. We need the thickness, but maybe not this kind of thickness. Maybe we do it like this. So it will end with thick, thin and thick. So when it goes in, it will go to one pixel. Yeah, it looks like that. Maybe it's too thin. Let's try maybe three pixel. And let's get it thicker. Twenty pixel here with round eight pixel. Yeah. Yep, we have quite unique line right now because we have that uh, splitting at 20 pixels. And our geometry just now, geometry modifier just now, uh, have a, uh, a smooth, uh, I would say that, a smooth transition because the sampling is uh, one. If we have our sample at five, we will see a more jaggy, I think. Yeah. For every 20, is the full length from zero to zero. Or we can experiment it. If we have pen, we have this kind of line. If we have five, this will get really weird <laughs> and not that nice. Maybe we stick with a big bell like 40. Yes, it was spiky. Very interesting line. And then we want don't want this to be so sharp here. Yeah? We have this uh, bezier curve. This bezier curve uh, modi uh, geometry mosaic uh will may cause some error some renders because uh, of the uh, render position uh, the float pos position but most of the time it is uh it is very useful to round your object and make the even on a low poly mesh it will the lines will look smoother 
if I put this right now, it's not really useful. I have to rearrange it before the sinus uh, displacement burns. And let's get back to quite a bit. So, if that is interest, still interesting, yep, it is still interesting. And this is more rounded. So, you can see the line is more rounded. And it is quite an inter interesting line, really. And there's a few more things I want to tell you. Get the bill, play with it, see what you need, uh, what need change, suggest it, show it to us, and we will work with you to make freestyle better. That's it, and thank you for your time. Bye for now.